Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to another stream. This is your friendly neighborhood old bat. Today, I got some videos that kind of show that Shani's lying about her arrest and her guilt about domestic violence and also how stupid they are. Let's dive in, shall we? We'll show the arrest video first. This was courtesy of the Losers Club. Link will be in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Losers Club. Shit. Not this crap again. As you can see, he's showing the uh, welts. I don't think there's any sound to this. That she left with the uh, with the whip. And he's fully cooperating with the police and telling them every damn thing. And here they break the news to her. Damn, that's a big bitch. Sorry about there not being any sound. This is just how it was presented. All right, Channy. Damn! She has a waist, folks. Look at how big that back is. They can barely get the cuffs around her wrist. Yeah, turn back around, you big buffalo. And they had to use three pairs of cuffs. Or two pairs of cuffs. Or three pair, Yeah, two pairs of cuffs. My bad. Earn her jailhouse tattoos. Yes, you may. Do you have anything else on you? No, I okay. don't. Can I talk to him real quick? Turn around. I need to patch it down real quick. Oh, oh man, I feel sorry for that officer. Yeah, I don't want to see that shit. This is ridiculous. I get put in jail and he hits me. He didn't hit you, bitch. Alright, come on. I get put in jail and he hits me. Let's go back real quick. Okay, so there wasn't any sound. I didn't fall asleep. I had fibromyalgia. I know her. 
problem. Wait with her right here. You were doing all that big bad talking whenever you were. You were talking about that you'd go to jail again. Uh uh, yeah. bitch. You were crying like a baby. I couldn't get her big ass in the car either. Every user I call AMR back out here. <coughs> for transport to jail. I check it off. Okay, don't, don't, don't. Okay, don't worry about it. You know what? Let's, let's go back over the... Let me get the ambulance to come out here. Yeah, you need a... You need an a big old paddy wagon to get that one. You want to sit on the curb? Okay. Sit down. Can you just take these off me? I promise. I cannot take them off. Or I'm loosen sorry. them, please, please. You already have them doubled up. It hurts so bad. Please get this off. Get the ambulance to get here. So I don't know. deserve this. Possibly take them off. <laughs> this hurts so bad. Officer, please. It's so tight. This hurts so bad, please. What hurts right now? My back and my shoulders. I have fibromyalgia. This is hurting like hell. Okay. Please help me. I can't get a strap. Now, with all, with all this being said, if y'all cough, <laughs> if I get hemmed up in some bullshit, I'd expect y'all to laugh at me too. Uh, <laughs> how's it feel to get your come up at Shanny? How's it feel? Huh? <laughs> I'm like just back here like this. I need the front word. Yeah, I'm and sure the I cops will be more than happy to do that for you. I just want to get out of pain. You can't tell them cops what to do. Oh, oh thank you. Please, God. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Wait a minute, we missed we missed an important part here. It hurts so bad. All right, here they got her big ass going up the stairs. Please, real quick, about the boys. Yes, definitely. Thank you. I'm going 
jail. Here she admits it. Real quick, say what you guys say. So you're going to be responsible for the boys tonight, okay? Uh, I didn't want to press charges. Do you understand? I understand. Okay. I didn't want to press charges. We know that, but for domestic violence, you know, our hands are kind of tied, even if you didn't want to press charges. She Okay. Can we, can we, like, do something about this? No, come on. We got to go tonight, <clears throat> You see, she's perfectly fine Take here. Damn. Okay. Every time I see her back, she looks like a linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. Help me, then. Bye, Jason. This is called MK Ultra, by the way. She's a nutcase. Uh, time for a program. I, I defend myself like a woman. MK Ultra. MK Ultra, huh? All right. I got something to say about that. No, bitch. It isn't MK Ultra. It isn't the Illuminati. It's you beating up on your boyfriend and you paying the price for it. That's it. It's your comeuppance. And you're too stupid to know that. And, J and Jason... At the time, you were too dumb to know that once that threshold has been crossed, it's, it'll be crossed again, and it'll keep escalating and escalating and escalating. Trust me. Hey, Blue. Hey, Freddy. I just want oh, to thank you, Blue. That's all I wanted was to go to sleep. 341, go to work, go to sleep. You know, no, I'm going to be up all night and be stuck. She does. She looks like a linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. I don't want to be full of weird chicks. You're a weird chick. I wrote my algae. I know her problem. <laughs> It was the good mint. Yeah, I remember him. I remember him, Freddy. But then cops were going, damn, that's a big bitch. Right on the nose, Blue. It'd be easier to call AMR back out here. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I remember Blue. I'm watching uh, Sandy's arrest video. I can't get up without this. I literally can't. Uh, domestic violence. I can't get in there. My fibro, my algae, my fibro, my fibro. Okay, don't, 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 don't worry about it. You know what? Let's, let's go back over the. Get 
the ambulance to come out here. Agreed, Freddy. Agreed. <laughs> I hope they both fall in a ditch. Using that sector or falling at the close of your uh, seat. So. Where's my phone? I go back. So you want to sit on the curb? Right. Sit down. Can you just take these off me? I promise. I cannot take them off. Or I'm loosen sorry. them, please. Can you take please. them off? You already have them doubled up. It hurts. Yeah, but so sure, bad. they'll take them off. Please get these off me. Get the ambulance to get here. Then we I can don't deserve this. Possibly take them off. Uh, just take me to the mental ward instead. I'd rather go. Okay, Shanny. Yeah, you're gonna call the shots here. Sure. Sure, you're right. Start acting up. They got collapsible batons, tasers, pepper spray, and guns. I'd give anything to see this woman tased. This hurts so bad. Officer, please, it's so tight. This hurts so bad, please. What hurts right now? My back and my shoulders. I have fibromyalgia. This is hurting like hell. Okay. Please help me. I can't get a strap exactly, right here like this. I need the front work. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm not going to fight you guys. Remember how she was talking all that shit that she would get arrested again for for hitting Jules? Lo I love Jules, by the way. You cried like a baby, bitch. You a baby back bitch. You ain't got any bit of toughness in you. Just a dainty little girl. Why are you doing this to me? Ow, 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 ow. Everything hurts. I'm gonna pass out. I want something to drink too. Sit down. I need help. I need help. Sit. <laughs> yeah, Freddie, what exactly did <laughs> What exactly did she say? This is not a good look, sis. Well, if you wanted to go to bed and sleep, why didn't you just go to bed, bitch? Instead of calling the cops on your boyfriend, trying to get him arrested. Didn't work out that way, did it? What did he say, Blue? He has some water or something. He got the, his info. What did Corky say about vets? I so I can hate him. Um, that's his name. Yeah, okay. That's his address. They only have five ten brown here. All, All right, let me stop this for a second. I want to know what they said about my brothers and sisters. Come on, guys, fess up. Make me hate them more. Okay. We'll play it at the end. You know what? Shanny ain't worth a fuck. She washed out in basic. 
So anything she says is automatically not worth a sh- not worth a shit. And Corky, he's a half a man. Uh, he ain't even a man. He's half a boy. So anything he says is is a bunch of shit. Continuing. I might have just found a new plaything. Is there any way you can like, give me a ticket or something at least? Unfortunately, no. I mean, it would be a lot easier for us to do that too. Can you just, like, not do it? Like, drop the charges? All right. Stupid murderers, huh? <coughs> okay. We'll show that one at the last. Corky is a half a boy. He's not even close to being considered a man. That's number one. Number two, he didn't have the he didn't have the intestinal fortitude to join and defend his country and heed the call. And three, Men are like him are the reason why a 41-year-old ended up behind a 240. Because she volunteered and felt compelled to. I felt compelled to. Both those boys don't know what the... Well... That girl and that boy don't know what the hell they're talking about. We're stupid murderers, huh? We're stupid murderers. Okay. Okay. I see you, Corky. I see you. I think I might have just found a new plaything. It's not our choice. Well, why isn't he being charged? He hit me too. He's saying he didn't touch you. Then I did say he touched me several times. And then I said he slapped me several times. You're not saying you hit him. Really? That's awesome. I slapped him across the face. I didn't think it would be that hard. Unfortunately. Well, what do you do if someone gets <laughs> in your face? Corky's got nothing to like, be smug about. He like was in prison. You don't know what to Besides, do. can't tell you what I would it's do. It's Nothing he says officer. would be important to me. Because he is a, he's a criminal. Who couldn't hack it in life anyway. This is ridiculous. Do anything wrong. Aw, Freddy. Okay. All right. We got ETA and AMR. How am I the primary aggressor? He got in my face. Because you hit him. Copy. Thank you. Wow. (laughs) So he's me, huh? Yep. Anyway, I can get some water. The ambulance is almost here. Am I going to go to that mental hospital? 
Okay. All right, Blue. Why wasn't I read my Miranda rights or anything? Unfortunately, you guys are just here, but she's going to jail. She's going to jail? Yeah. Because she slapped him across the face. You? No, she slapped him across the face, and we didn't find that out until afterwards. Um, but uh, she can't fit that. Uh -huh. No, she has fibromyalgia, so she's complaining about being hurt. And she can't get up to get in the back of the patrol car, so unfortunately, we had to call you guys back there. Just take a look at it. Can we put her on the stretcher? It's not automatic? It's, it's not automatic. Uh, no, we'll yeah. do our best. She can get up here. Okay. I'll make it work. It's a bigger door then. Do you need us in the back of the room? Yeah. We're going to have to. Yeah. She's got the stuff up here. She's probably going to complain about it, but just different things. Oh, oh yeah. But. She can complain. I mean, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. This woman yeah. is a loser. All right, I got it pulled up. No, I'm not going to stroke out. Oh. Exactly, Freddie. I don't know where they are in the house right now. Okay. Okay, this is just the same thing over and over again. Be sure to sub to Graveyard Flowers. Why won't I be here? Now, this one is going to be them. I'm. Mean, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do the one at at that uh, Corky did. Submitted for your approval by, I can't read that crap. It does not take any courage or honor or character, or decency, or intelligence, or much of anything else to uh, pick up a gun or strap bombs to yourself and go murder people in a foreign country. It doesn't take any of that. All it takes is a, a sadistic desire to kill and then the excuse of, oh, I'm getting a paycheck out of it. 
See, the theme of it is, is you were not defending America. You were not defending Americans. You were not defending anybody. What you were doing was you were defending the corporations and the banksters who enjoy the fact that they're wars because they're selling to both sides. That's the reality. And what do you have to show? Nick, <clears throat> you know nothing of honor. You know nothing of decency. You know nothing of courage or strength. And you know nothing of what it is to serve or defend. And I would pick up a rifle in a heartbeat to defend my country. I would do it again. Let's continue. Joe, for your uh, service to the state, as far as murdering people, you have a, a couple pieces of tin in various shapes, you know, because that's, you know, that's, that's it for you. You know, it's amazing uh, how many of my trolls are such statists. They're such authoritarian, totalitarian statists who they felt as if they were something. And now they're reduced to nothing. They're forced to look at the abyss within themselves and see that there's nothing there. Oh, it must. Yeah, Corky. You defrauded a lot of people out of a lot of money. You are a criminal. Yes, you paid your debt to society. But you have that lingering felony con conviction that will keep you from ever having a decent job. Thanks to my service, I have a pension. I have insurance. And I have the decision whether whether to work or not to work. And I choose to work because I like to work. You don't have that luxury because you believe in nothing. Let's continue. It'd be awful for you, Tom Davis, to be a, uh, an old man to have to look in the mirror and realize that your legacy isn't even a legacy at all. It's a pathetic blip on the screen of history, and it will fade away. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. No one will care. You're just another one of the mindless masses who's willing to pick up a gun and murder other people for the sake of your great American empire. Just as in the ancient past. I'm not mindless, Corky. I'm not mindless. I have a mind and I have a spirit. And there's one day in particular that will live on in my mind forever. And it was heartbreaking. And it had nothing to do with the roadside bombs we managed to dodge. Or the ill intent of our enemy. But it broke my heart nonetheless. A little boy was hurt and killed. And I saw everything, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Romans did the same thing for the great Roman Empire, or any empire. Oh, the empire. Oh, the empire. The state. The nation. You know, see, hail the fucking state. That's all you are, Tom Davis. Is you're a dirty little whore for the state, pimping out 
your fucking bullets and bombs for the sake of your glorious masters who do everything they can to ruin people's lives on a daily basis. And what are you reduced to, Tom Davis? What are you reduced to? You're reduced to running away from the fact that you got suckered by the state. You're reduced to running away from that realization by focusing on some disabled person on the internet. <laughs> No, Corky, you suckered a lot of people. For what I understand, you're not very repentant about it. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Yes, you have the First Amendment, and you can exp you can say anything you want, and it's okay. It's okay that you have your opinion. I defended that freedom. You're welcome. A disabled person who has more courage in his pinky. <laughs> Bullshit. Than you do in your entire body, because at least I put my face on the internet i make videos i stand by what i say i say what i mean and mean what i say and yeah i get a lot of shit from it i do i get a lot of abuse from it i do but you know what the difference is i don't have the uh the violence of the state backing my every fucking move when i do something i'm responsible for the consequences of my actions you on the other hand you're going to sit there and use every excuse to say, <gasps> oh, this fun artist. You obviously don't know that we also had rules of engagement. We couldn't just shoot willy nilly. And our enemy knew that too. Let's continue. Sure. Well, here's, here's the thing, Tom Davis, you dumbass. You jarhead, you thug, you punk. I highly suspect, I suspect that if I showed your behavior to any military person, they would sit there and they would say, Tom Davis is not any kind of warrior by any stretch of the imagination. He can barely be considered a soldier. What Tom Davis is, I would suspect they would say, is a gutless, worthless. I am a soldier. I am a retired soldier, yes. But I'm still a soldier nonetheless. And I will carry that title to my grave. What title do you carry to your grave, Corky? Grifter? Useless sack of shit? A man who will never leave his mark. A man who went nowhere. You can be fairly certain that when you pass, no one will ever remember you. And I doubt there will be any mourners at your funeral. Punk who couldn't make anything of himself other than a high, as a hired killer for the bankers and the, the uh, politicians who, once they were done using him, they were more than happy to toss him aside like the piece of trash that he is. Oh, and I'm sure Tom Davis will have moral outrage and, oh, how dare Kirk you say anything against the state? Ah! Moral outrage? You're immature. You're gonna have stupid. moral outrage at me using a fucking medical card when you went overseas. You made the choice to murder people. You're gonna say, "Well, uh, they was trying to murder me too." Uh. You know what? When I went over, when, yes, I made the choice 
Yes, I signed the dotted line. Yes, I signed a contract. And I prayed that every day that I never had to hurt anyone. And thank God I never had to. Let's continue. Maybe if everybody got together. Um, you know, there's a story I recall reading about on the Internet about... Uh, I think it happened in World War One, where these Germans in America, not the Americans, but um, who was it? The Brit There's a story somewhere about two groups fighting each other, and it was a holiday, and they all had Christmas dinner, and somehow these two groups got together and started playing soccer or football or something, and their generals, their, their commanding officers literally had to start shooting them in order to get them to start fighting each other, because they didn't want to fight each other. They didn't want to die. They wanted the same thing. They wanted to go back to their families. They wanted to have a good life. It's not the people who want war, you stupid fuck, Tom Davis, you fucking gutless pig. It's not the people who want war. It's your politicians, it's your bureaucrats, it's your corporate banksters. That's who want the war. And you're going to have moral outrage at me for fucking using a medical card when you're not going to sit there and look at yourself the fuck. It's medical, not medical. Medical. Up in mirror and have the moral outrage for yourself, for your own fucking behavior. The fact that you, for a fucking paycheck, went. All this because he said something you probably didn't like. Boo, who, who. And oh, by the way, Corky, uh, I'm reviewing this because I want people to see that what you say is a bunch of bullshit. And that I can review something like this that is complete and utter bullshit. And it doesn't upset me. As a matter of fact, it makes me wonder who hurt you. And murdered people in cold blood. Not just one, not just... You're terrified by strength, aren't you? You like other weak people, don't you? Which is probably why you're with Sabella. She's weaker than you. You are terrified by strength. You'd be terrified if a real man stood in front of you or a real woman. You're pathetic. It's two hundreds of them. You are complicit. You are complicit in the death of God knows how many hundreds of people. And you're going to have moral outrage at me, you stupid fuck. No, I have moral outrage at you. I have moral outrage at you because I've never picked up a gun and murdered somebody. Oh, because you've been so swatched. You've been so swatched. Oh. Yes, but you decided to become a trained hired killer and murder in cold blood. Dozens, if not hundreds, and be complicit in probably more. Yes, that was my primary job. No, I never had to use, I never had to fulfill my function. More than hundreds of people dying painfully. And you're going to sit there and have more allowed it. <laughs> Oh, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Or at, least, at the very least, those who see themselves as mighty. See, Tom Davis, I have 
in no qualms about admitting the fact that I'm not some big, powerful, <laughs> tough guy. You, on the other hand, you're probably in your fucking late 50s, early 60s. You're looking a little long of the tooth. And you're realizing that, holy shit, one of these days, you're nah, going to be ashes, ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> no, not really, Freddy. And what legacy are you going to have it wasn't. in the world? A legacy of death and slaughter and murder and anguish and suffering. Just another warm body for the furnace of empire. Really? It must suck that you have to distract yourself. How many ways are you going to call us killers? You know what? I'm eager to see. This is only a 17 minute video. Let's continue. With me, you have to distract yourself, not face the fact that you are what you are. Because let's face it, Tom Davis, every fucking moment that you think about me is another moment you can avoid looking at the reality of the situation, that you are nothing but a murderous, sociopathic, empty husk of flesh with no heart, no soul, no life within you. You, you know, I don't know who this guy is, but kudos to him for telling you about yourself. He really must have told you about yourself. Kudos. Are the walking dead. And when you see somebody like me who has life and fire and a heart that could become a warrior's heart, it must burn you. It nah. must eat at you like nothing else. No. Do I have moral outreach for you? Towards you? Yeah. Yeah, so? I do. So? And I have the right What are you going to do about it? Because you... What are you going to do about it, Corky? Decided of your own volition. What the fuck are you going to do about it? Hundreds of people. What the fuck are you going to do about it? Come kick my ass. Come kick his ass. Come kick everybody's ass that's in, that was in the service. <laughs> you couldn't kick my ass and I got a bad back and bad hips. You piece of shit. Continuing. For a few pieces of tin. Do you think you're a tough guy? Any dumb animal can kill. It takes a man to make the choice not to and to choose a path of peace and negotiation. Tom Davis, I want you. Then I'm more man than you are because I actually went in and defended your right to say this dumb shit. To look into the mirror today. Look deep into your eyes. And when you see the abyss, the emptiness, the anguish, the suffering, the pain, I want you to acknowledge that there's nothing left inside you that's worth our legacy. I gotta admit, I am dead inside. But not because of the military. or much of anything else to uh, pick up a gun or strap bombs to yourself and go murder people in a foreign country. It doesn't take any of that. All it takes is a, a sadistic desire to kill and then the excuse of... Oh, okay, I, I think that they're just rehashing this. See, the thing of it is, is you are not defending America. Okay, what did we learn, kids? We learned that Corky is a mental midget who likes to try to use flourishing words to call veterans out of their name. Come at me, bitch.
Come at me. I'm waiting, sissy. Okay. Now we're going to go on to them going. <laughs> That's okay. I got it. Um, let's go ahead and move on to Shani and Rev going to Ruth Chris. This will make us laugh. We need a palate cleanse after that nonsense. Yeah, this place is super high class, man. I know, and I'm like... And y'all are low class. I know. D Discover card. White trash? White trash? Sure, it's five... White trash? White trash? Nine more. You got it. Okay. Ooh. Valet VIP for it. That's amazing. Come on. That's what we'll be getting all night. That's awesome, man. Valet, we were going to have a limo, but that just fell through. It was not strange. Exactly. Five, seven, zero, yes? Yep. Not now I'm going to say something before this really gets rolling. I'm poor white trash. And even I know better than to go into some place like Ruth Chris and dress like an asshole. I dress up whenever I go to the flea market and I dress in a certain way to attract attention to my booth. But I don't do that when I'm out when I'm out and about. These two goons have no social graces. 921 3191 Yeah, they are, Freddie. That they are. Yeah, it's a Tahoe. A t absolutely, yeah. Uh, 20%, man. Whatever it will. Uh, let me see. I mean, I don't know what's appropriate for <laughs> five bucks is you double it. Ten. Ten bucks, my man. Ooh, throwing his money around. And I'm sorry about the state of the car. We have two children and they're insane. You know, we couldn't get it cleaned in time. I'm sorry. You know? Okay. They're insane. They are insane. They're good. They're good kids, but he, he does that. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah. Oh my god. We're going to see corn tonight. That's why we he look like, like gothic freaks, he acts you know. Yeah, like he's uh, really That's interested. So Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Brave, babe. yeah. I'm going to get a lot of footage of them playing. Like yeah. a ton of footage of them playing, yeah. But I'll be sick. I'm not going to was the the this is good this one. That is that oh, uh, That's how long I've been with Discover or my mother was my mother had an account and they put they grandfathered me in all right my my brother thank you god bless you so much thank you oh my god all right folks this is cool shit folks this is an awesome right here's where we're going ruth's chris steakhouse which i still say the name of it is stupid now they don't look goth they don't look like goth freaks look Continuing. Stupid as shit. Ah! Uh, yeah. Nobody wants to see all that this fat. This is classy as shit. And you're trashy as shit. Folks. Why? This place is... Wow. He's wearing a cape. Please let us come in. Yeah. Oh my god. I wouldn't god. let your ass wow. in. I did not expect this. Hi, we have a reservation. Yeah. What's the name? Uh, Jason. God, this place is beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank you. So nice. Did you expect it to be? <laughs> no, I did not. I thought it would be like corn.
That's the most idiotic thing I've ever heard in my life. You go to a place like this, dressed in something nice, and maybe take those clothes with you if you're going to wear them to corn. Okay? She is trying not to laugh and trying not to look at them because, hell, I'd be avoiding eye contact too. When I worked at Macy's, there was lots of times when I had to avoid eye contact. Serious business. What? I thought it would be like gothic. You thought like high class gothic. Not. This is hugely high class. I shouldn't be wearing You should have read up on it before you went. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, we're going to corn, though. Yeah, to look the part for corn. You know what I mean? It's, okay. okay. You look more like Thank juggalos. <laughs> no, yeah. Don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. Absolutely, of That's course. The only that's of course the case yeah there's no doubt about that all right awesome this is beautiful wow you may have nobody found wants place. to see all that wow oh my god on you shanny huh. have a nice family there dining yeah and they're they're gonna have to be assaulted wow. by eyes shot shanny's thigh meat oh my god thank you ma'am i appreciate it Oh my God, this is so fancy, man. I know. You don't want here. No, this no, is like don't. way too bougie. Bougie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Folks. It's a wine glass, folks. I can't use that. She's wearing a see-through lace blouse, a black bra, a cape, a mini skirt, and her backstage pass with her multicolored uh, fucked up hair and fucked up makeup to Ruth Chris, one of the nicest steakhouses in the city. Personally for me, I would have worn one of my nicer sets of clothes or one of my nicer dresses and went. But no, this is Shani we're talking about. Chef's features. <laughs> Wine pairing selections. Soup. Hey, not bad. How about you? Really good. It's the classiest restaurant I've been in in a long time. A long time. Well, don't get used to it, Rev. It won't last. Okay, thank you so much. Petite filet with truffle crust. Black and scallops. Garlic crusted halibut. I can't do the mushrooms. You, 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 you do the appetizers, you know. And you want the seafood? I know it is. It's too expensive for that. Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to get the blackened scallops. And I want to try some chicken barley soup. Wow. Entrees. Strawberry shortcake is your special dessert. Chef's features. This place is just wow. Well, yeah, I showed you. Yeah, I showed you the place, folks. So there it is. Later. Yeah, guys, that's out of hand. That is absolutely amazing. Cocktail sauce, sriracha. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's George, our server, the good man. Thank you. Absolutely. We have YouTube channels. We're both YouTubers. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, throw that out there every time you can. Your, uh, your name. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's on the back there, Revelation News. Revelation News. Yes. Awesome. And she's Shani for Christ. Shani for Christ, yes. 
Okay, I'll have to write that down at the end or I'll forget it. Awesome, Hello, George. Everyone. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, George? Okay. If you'll do anything, get that, that tip. I'll be back around in a few minutes. Thank you, my brother. Absolutely. So this place is amazing. Yeah. So there you go. You got your seafood, folks. Okay, I'm, I'm going to eat. Instagram is better for pictures. The, yeah. That's the aftermath, folks. He is not having a good day. And that's a seared ahi tuna. It's just so close. Guys, look at look at that. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Oh my God. Look at the potatoes, folks. They glisten. You see that? We have chai. You both have the palates of, of a dog's backside. I doubt seriously that you could you could really appreciate what the hell you're eating. Continuing. It's something like that. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Do you want to talk about bougie folks? Yeah. Yeah. Got a street preacher over there, folks. <sighs> you know, he's talking about repentance and stuff. Romans, Romans 2 and stuff. Now put that poor man on camera. Ah! <laughs> Got him. Boom. That just happened. They look like they're getting ready to argue. Well, yeah, folks, we're at the Pepsi Center. Can you believe that shit? We're at the Pepsi Center now. And the thing is, it's just insane. The place is really big. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's really big. It's pretty crazy, you know? We're like right at the stage. I know. You <laughs> see a lot of people in like plaid skirts and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> And look at Danny. Because it's Jonathan Davis with his kilt. You know what I mean? It's Jonathan Davis with his fucking kilt. You know? I wonder if he still plays the bagpipes. Do you think Jonathan Davis still plays the bagpipes? Because I know that he has hard time breathing. You know? You're not the bat 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 You know what I mean? That fucking voice. It takes a lot of Wow. Okay. Got a few things to unpack here. They're uncultured, uncivilized animals who don't look up the place, see what a dress code is, and see what, what things are like in a restaurant before they go. They're trashy, nasty, disgusting. And they have no idea what truth goth wear is. Well, that wraps it up for me today. For me this this morning, I may come back on this afternoon. I don't know yet. Uh, I haven't decided. No, it cannot by class intelligence or well, I was going to say something, but it was on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it is. I'm sure it'll come up later. I want to thank you, Freddie, for coming out. I want to thank anybody else to come out. I want to thank Blue for coming out. You guys rock. Corky, you can suck my left nut. You're right about that, Freddie. They's poor now. Um, you guys rock. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You know why? Well, do you? Because nobody else will. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.